my name is Beck and welcome to a spoiler-free review for Gallant by V.E. Schwab. First of all, I want to thank New South Books for sending this review copy to me. This is a book that I adored and I really love V.E. Schwab. I've done a whole other video about her and her other works and the kind of vibe you can expect going into her writing. And this was no different. If you are a V.E. Schwab fan, you're going to love this because I did. I gave it four and a half stars and it follows a girl named Olivia Pryor. And Olivia Pryor has no parents. She's at an orphanage. She also has no voice and even even though she tries to speak she obviously cannot and so she speaks via sign language but people choose not to listen to her and not to look at her and she also has a unique ability to see ghouls so they're like the kind of ghosts that people leave behind after they die so when i was reading this it's a standalone book by the way and it's young adult so it was really quick to get through it's brilliant if you're looking to break a reading slump or something because getting immersed in this writing was really easy when v.e schwab writes her books, she really manages to capture the kind of tone and atmosphere that emulates kind of like this dark, existential, uh, eerie kind of vibe. And that was perfect for this book, especially with the ghouls like lingering around the edges. So the premise for this is that Olivia is about 16 years old. She's at this orphanage and she's very much on the outer. She gets bullied by these other girls and she's trying to stake her claim and be a tough kind of person. And she's really set herself apart from the others, but the people People at the orphanage are wanting to kick her out and at the same time they're going to kick her out they get a letter from her family that she didn't know that she had and they summon her to this estate so if you like haunted houses and you like twisty and turny plots and tension you're going to really enjoy this if you liked the haunting of hill house as well you're going to really like this as well both of them have things in common like the whole family living at a haunted house kind of scenario and then there's also a added element of urban fantasy where there is this gate and you don't know what has gone on with this gate except that it's this family responsibility and that's kind of what Olivia is starting to realize and kind of inherit and there is magic to this gate as well so I don't want to get into spoilers but it's going to be so easy to talk about them if I continue I loved this book I loved the writing style I devoured it in a couple of days and to be honest The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue was one of my favorite books of all time so to follow that book with this one it was a really hard ask but I still gave this four and a half stars it did its own thing it had its own style it was very reminiscent of The Haunting of Hill House, but it was also set apart from that. So I think if you like that kind of style, then you're going to really love this because it added a little bit of extra magic while it still had that deep tone of family at its heart and center. It was a brilliant book. I would encourage you to pick it up and read it. If you've read this one, let me know down below. Thank you again for the review copy. I really appreciate it. It has definitely gone straight to my favorites list and I'm very excited to see what V.E. Schwab brings out next. But again, if you've read this, please let me know what you rated it down below. I'm assuming it's going to have high ratings because it's a really good book, but thank you so much for watching this video. I'll come chat to you down below in the comments and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.